This is the winter outlook for the Northern Rockies for the season 2015 and 2016 from the National Weather Service office in Missoula, Montana. First I want to take a look at the current drought situation. We are still under severe to extreme drought conditions across all of western Montana and central Idaho. For the calendar year so far through the end of October, Missoula has received right around 7.04 inches of precip which is the third driest for the calendar year January through present. Kalispell, Orofino, Libby, and West Glacier are all amongst their driest conditions for the calendar year. So what are we going to expect for this winter? Well this winter is all about our El Nino that has developed across the central and eastern Pacific noted here in the arrow. Defined as above normal sea surface temperatures in the equatorial and central Pacific, El Nino creates a lot more convection in these areas and it's this convection which drives general weather patterns in the mid-latitudes in the winter time. Currently is labeled as a strong El Nino and, and is uh, one of the strongest El Ninos on the record as noted here by this graph. It's a little bit tough to read but here um, is the 215, 2015 line which by the end of September early October which basically equates to the 1997-1998 El Nino which was the strongest one on record. It's also forecast to persist at these levels through uh, the early winter months of January, February. These are the other six strong El Ninos. Global impacts from El Nino, some of the best correlations are actually over in um, southern India, China, um, Indonesia, and northern Australia where there's not as much convection in the uh, western Pacific. Um, they don't get as much rainfall which uh, uh, dry warmer conditions they do get a lot of wildfires and drought uh, develops. In North America warm temperatures warmer than normal temperatures across southern Alaska through central uh, Canada and the northern tier of the United States including the northern Rockies and the southern tier of the United States wetter and uh, cooler than normal. Why is that? Well during the winter time as I mentioned the uh, Everything that drives the mid-latitude weather patterns from the convection in the ocean, uh, equatorial Pacific Ocean. Uh, over the long haul, over the course of the winter, we get a persistent extended Pacific jet stream, which is further south than normally it is up in the uh, uh, mid-latitudes, which would impact the northern Rockies for good orographic and uh, lift and more frequent rains. Uh, also during El Nino, because this uh, jet is further south. We're kind of in a quasi uh, general ridge of high pressure from time to time, more frequent in the winter months, and it leaves us warmer than normal. And the polar jet stream is generally further to the east and the north. But not all El Ninos are alike. These again are the six strongest El Ninos from 1957 all the way through 1997, 98 season. Um, for the most part, using the composite of all these six, uh, precipitation is generally warmer, or excuse me, wetter than normal with precip in the southern tier of the U.S. with precipitation drier than normal across the northern Rockies. This is actually shown in every year, uh, some greater than not. So what's that mean for the northern Rockies? Let's try and uh, concentrate on that. Percent of precipitation for the average of all six strong El Ninos is generally 80 to 90 percent of normal consistently. This is uh, Missoula on the bottom left all the way through uh, central Idaho on the uh, bottom right. Temperatures across the northern Rockies also show a very good signal for above normal readings for temperatures, especially in central Idaho. Any average temperatures over the course of the winter is about two degrees above normal. As we get into northwest Montana it's anywhere from about uh, 1.2 to 1.8 degrees above normal. Now the lower valleys of western Montana don't see as strong of a signal for uh, temperatures mainly because uh, there is a, uh, a better potential for more frequent high pressure ridges which leaves the region in um, the lower valleys under an inversion uh, temperatures don't mix out as well. We generally stay uh, cooler than uh, our surroundings under those inversions. So 
that's not as great of a signal. But in the mountains, yes, above normal temperatures. So how does that translate into uh, snowfall? Well, the combination of less frequent um, westerly flows, which is conducive for snow, and warmer temperatures, you can see here on this graph that uh, for the average of all six El Ninos, strong El Ninos, Central Idaho only has about 55 to 65% of uh, snowfall. Um, Northwest Montana here from Molina City Lake, uh, West Glacier, anywhere from 75 to 85% of normal. Uh, they're about two thirds of normal in the lower valleys of West Central Montana and far Northwest Montana because those snow levels are pretty critical for them. Uh, it's anywhere from 50 to 60% of normal. The average snowpack was uh, probably one of our biggest impacts um, due to number one, we're in drought conditions right now. We're not expected by uh, this winter to increase that snowpack at all. This is the average of all six strong, or average of four of our strongest El Ninos since 1980, uh, where we have data back to is anywhere from just 85 to 90 percent of uh, snowpack, or, or uh, in other words, snow water equivalent. So uh, water management uh, and drought uh, could be an issue as we enter our springtime um, months next April. So just a little closer look. <clears throat> I want to highlight, for if anything, for this uh, presentation is seasonal variability. Uh, note here in November, this is for Missoula, night and three or four of our strongest El Ninos on record. We were only about 35 to 45 percent of normal for precipitation for the month of November. But as we went into December, we were above normal for precipitation in, in many of those years, except for 97, 98. That's pretty variable, but over the course of the entire five month period, November through March, we were pretty consistently below normal for precipitation anywhere from about uh, 75 to 90% uh, of normal. The takeaway is, hey, we could still get snowstorms. We will get heavy snowstorms and we will get a cold outbreak from time to time. It'll just be less frequent. Every El Nino year, every strong El Nino year in Missoula, has produced at least one sub-zero day and a four inch snowfall. In fact, in 1972, December was one of our coldest Decembers on record and that was a strong El Nino year. Um, we've had, I think, a, about five or six days in a row where the temperature uh, did not rise above zero degrees in mid-December and we got down to 20 below a few times. And, but in December, you can look at some of the other years, 57, 58, it was 8.1 degrees above normal. So there's a lot of variability with temperatures. But over the course of the season, you can see a little bit more consistency with those above normal temperatures, with the exception of that one uh, extremely cold year of 72, 73, over the course of five months. Average seasonal snowfall uh, for specific locations in Butte is 39 inches, but um, Across the board on all these graphs, uh, seasonal snowfall, once again because more frequent high pressure ridges or lack of a good westerly, northwesterly flow which is favorable for snow in the valleys here. Um, because of that lack, uh, snowfall can be as low as 55% of normal and, and uh, just general 55 to 80% of normal with the exception 97, 98 in southwest Montana was just kind of wet. But in Kalispell, Missoula, gosh our average snowfall is anywhere from 50 to 80 uh, percent of normal or uh, as up here in Kalispell uh, generally um, uh, uh, generally in the 70 to 75 percent range of normal for snowfall pretty low it's even lower in Idaho uh, they just don't get those westerly systems and when they do get precipitation uh, those snow levels are higher in general and they average anywhere from 40 to 60 percent of normal precip, except for perhaps 1970, 87, 88 was a little bit higher. Uh, but here in uh, Pierce, Idaho, pretty consistent, just below 50 percent of normal. There was one El Nino year, which was kind of an outlier, in 1965 and 66, where snowfall was about 150 percent of normal. So once again, there is variability. Northern Rockies outlook. So, the last couple slides, we'll look at the overall outlook. 
from the Climate Prediction Center, we're looking at 50%, a greater than 50% uh, probability of below normal precipitation. This is pretty high confidence for a seasonal outlook across the U.S. Note the southern tier, wetter than normal. Um, cooler than normal in the southeast part of the U.S. And as we hit home back in the northern Rockies, uh, pretty high confidence for warmer than normal temperatures. And that kind of equates to lower snowfall totals. And finally, the U.S. seasonal drought outlook for October. October 15th through January 31st calls for persistent drought or drought to persist and expand into eastern Montana and into the Dakotas. This will likely, uh, this forecast will likely go on through the end of March until we hit the uh, spring months. So in summary, winter outlook uh, this year, November through March, strong El Ninos do exist. There's a pretty good confidence for drier than normal conditions, 10 to 20 percent lower. Uh, warmer than normal temperatures, about 1 to 2 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, probably higher in the mountains. Below normal snowfall, anywhere from 15 to 30 percent lower in western Montana and upwards of uh, 50 to 60 percent lower than normal in central Idaho. Below normal seasonal snowpack and water content in the mountains, about 10 to 20 percent lower than normal. Drought conditions will persist through March. Uh, more than likely and the north but please do remember the northern Rockies are still gonna have winter there's still gonna be heavy snow there'll still be some cold outbreaks probably just not as frequent so still be prepared for uh, possible severe winter conditions from time to time thank you and have a good day